We actually at Memorial Hospital did have a patient uh, present to our emergency room who had had a history of Ebola and it became quickly apparent that we were not in any way ready for this patient. Um, last week we asked UMass Memorial Management for a meeting and also forward our demands for optimal equipment and training in the care of Ebola patients. We met this past Monday in the afternoon and um, UMass Memorial Medical Center has made some positive steps towards addressing the concerns of nurses and better to take better care and prepare uh, the staff for the um, uh, presence of a um, presentation of a, an Ebola patient. So these have included rigorous, rigorous training um, that started actually just today. Um, commitments that liquid uh, Tyvex liquid impervious one-piece suits will be provided with hoods and foot coverings in line with the new CDC guidelines. Our concern is that there's about a six-week backlog in the availability of those suits. That's so very concerning to us. Nurses will have the option to elect um, either the PAPR or an N95 respirator with goggles. Nurses will be trained in the can donning. Yeah, you can. Uh, PAPR is a um, positive air pressure respirator. Yeah. It's when, when you look on um, the television set when they kind of look like they're a spaceman. It's the space hood. Suit. It's the hood. And it has air. And so the air is with a HEPA filter. So the air is going through. So right. as opposed to the N95, which really is not, um, that's a just a regular, like you might see on TV, someone going into an operating room, right. totally substandard. Right, and the the papper uh, you can actually uh, tape it down to the Tyvek suit so that there is no ability for contamination. Nurses will be trained in the donning and doffing of the PPE, and ongoing drills will be conducted. The donning and doffing will be uh, adopted using the buddy system, which is critical. Um, there will be a simulator lab set up for learning how to properly draw labs, start IVs, and other invasive procedures uh, while wearing the gear because it's cumbersome and we're not used to that. Uh, nurses caring for suspected or confirmed Ebola patients will be assigned in pairs, providing two nurses to one patient ratio for their full shift. And they'll swap off direct care so that not, no nurse is in a direct contact with the patient for more than two hours. There will be a clean ante room, a dirty room um, for changing, um, and then a shower for staff with hospital provided scrubs to wear under the PPE. All confirmed cases of Ebola, including pediatric and pregnant laboring patients, will be transported from the UMass Medical Center uh, Memorial Campus to the University Campus to be cared for in 6 ICU, which is a designated unit. UMass Memorial will also review and respond to uh, a list of concerns proposed by the nurses that were not addressed in our most recent meeting regarding Ebola preparedness. And of note, um, what's very concerning to us is our uh, labor and delivery unit. We are a high-risk maternity center. And babies come when they want and where they want. So we've had them delivered in the parking lot, in bathrooms, in the uh, cafeteria, in hallways, in the elevator, on the way to labor and delivery. So um, we can certainly expect that um, a, a woman who comes in the late stages of labor, um, it would not be safe to transport her for the threat of she could deliver in the ambulance or anywhere from here to, to 6 ICU. So that's very concerning to us, and they were supposed to be having a meeting about that yesterday, and we're waiting to hear more about it. Because um, we were told by our uh, CNO that um, no baby will be born um, in the labor uh, suite at Memorial Hospital. And, uh, well, you know, may show up in the elevator on the way up. So, <laughs> um, and. Just give me a minute on Well, uh, again, babies show up when and where they want, right? So 
some people they wait until you know the bitter end. Some some women are very lucky and have very short labors, and you really don't know. You coming. can't stop the baby from coming when they want to come. So that was very concerning to us. You know, we're told, well, no baby will be born in our delivery suite, and we're saying, oh, contraire. You know, <laughs> we don't know that. We can't say that. We have to be prepared for that in the event that that happens. Thank you. <laughs> so. Um, so we're pleased that UMass Memorial has taken these steps to protect our safety and the uh, safety of our patients and our visitors. Uh, but these are steps that need to be taken at every single hospital in, this, in, in central Massachusetts, in the state of Massachusetts, and in this country. Uh, we must continue to have an open dialogue through this process and continue making safety a top priority. Thank you so much.